the measure of Williamsport to earn their way into this ball game. And with the four point spread, Shenley's way, as we go into the second half, I think we can look forward to 16 minutes and maybe more of tremendous high school basketball action. This is for the Pennsylvania Schoolboy Championship. Shenley in the white, Norristown in the blue. Here's Shenley ref goes into the second half, leading by four, 36 32. Here's referee Bob Colvert with the toss up, and here's Ed Conway with the play by play action. Right to Bob uh, Colvert of Pittsburgh, who's tossing it up. The other uh, official, Bob Suave of Me Mechanicsburg. Eddie Plank is the alternate official, should he be needed tonight. Shenley gets the second half tip off, and we're underway with the Spartans in possession of the basketball. And there, Norristown still with that man-to-man, uh, -man, the shot taken by Thornton. Rebound, Darby Brown, and a foul is called. It's a call against Tom Thornton of Shenley, his second. As we get the second half underway, we'll go to the opposite end. Okay, Ed, as you can see on that play, Darby Brown tried to drive, but number 42 for Shenley, Tom Thornton, came in under him. All right, here's Brown at the foul line, shooting one. Rebound, big Lucas, Maurice Lucas of Shenley. Underneath to Kelly. Rebound, Henry Williams, Norristown. Here come the Eagles. Oh, he and uh, Williams and Jeff Matthews and a foul call charging against Williams. That's Williams' second personal. Boy, that big Williams charges into you. I would think you'd know it. But Matthews seems to be okay. Shenley's basketball on the turnover. For a six foot five player, I'll say one thing Williams moves very nice. Ricky Coleman for Shenley, driving from the corner. 38 32, the first basket of the second half by either team. 13 points for Ricky Coleman. Williams from the corner. Rebound taken off by Matthews, a little trouble controlling it, but he's got it okay. Over to Thornton, driving the baseline. Good play by Tom Thornton of Shenley. Went under the basket, around and up. 40-32. Shenley increases their margin to eight. They led by four at the half. That's Greg Gaskin with the ball for Norristown. Butler losing it to Kelly, but it goes out of bounds. Kelly touched it last, and uh, the Jeep took a real swipe at that basketball. Out of bounds it went. Norristown will toss it in. Early going, second half. 40-32, Shenley over Norristown. Norristown in possession of the basketball. Shenley still with their zone defense. They slide off that 1-3-1. Wayne Butler, Matthews with him. Butler puts it up. Wayne Butler. And closes the margin to six. 40-34, Shenley. Now that's Butler against Jeep Kelly. He follows him over to the corner now. Kelly tosses it back out to Matthews into Lucas, almost knocked away from him. Maurice tries an outside shot. Rebound, R uh, Ricky Coleman. Good play by Ricky. 15 points for Coleman. He's high in the ball game. It's 42-34 Shenley. Early moment, second half. The shot from outside, a beauty by Wayne Butler for Norristown. The Eagles cut the Spartans' lead to six. It's 42 to 36, and Shenley in possession of the basketball. That's Ricky Coleman. Crowder with him. Ball knocked away by Henry Williams on a good defensive play. Turnaround by Thornton. Two more for the Spartans, 44 to 36. Eight-point lead for Shenley now. Shenley appears to be in a 1-2-2 two, two, or a 3-2. There's the shot by Williams. Goes over the basket, over the backboard. Out of bounds, Shenley's possession. Crowd coming alive here at the Civic Arena into Maurice Lucas. Turn around, Williams tried to anticipate him again. Couldn't that time, and Lucas scored. He has 11. 46-36. Shenley's biggest lead of the night. 10 points. 440 left 
third quarter. Holman goes after his man. The ball is knocked out of bounds. Norristown still in possession. I notice Shinley's come out of their 1-3-1 zone, Ed, and gone to a 3-2 now. That's Greg Gaskin. Over to Butler. Flips it over to Darby Brown. Out of bounds it goes. Shenley's possession. If you're wondering what happened to Doc Holliday, Norristown, one of their starters, he got into early foul trouble. He has three, and Brown has uh, replaced him in the first quarter. Coleman. Good bank shot. 48 to 36. Coleman has 17 points. Shenley pulling away now. The spread is 12. Williams with Lucas on him. Rebound, Brown of Norristown. To Butler, driving the lane. Out of bounds, Norristown's ball. That's the Norristown, uh, those are the Norristown cheerleaders you see right behind Greg Gaskin tossing it in. The shot by Crowder. Rebound, Lucas ahead to Jeep Kelly. Gaskin's with him. Kelly goes around. Oh, nice play. Fine play by Jeep Kelly to put Shenley ahead. 50 to 36, a 14 point bulge with three minutes and 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, the Shinley fans are going wild, Ed, and it looks like Coach Bill Werkheiser of Norristown is going to try and do something now. He's going to try and tell his boys to stop that fast break. This is how Shinley jumped out to a lead early in the first half. Lucas cleaning off the boards and throwing that outlook pass to the lead man, and the fast break right here has now pushed them out to a 14-point lead at 50-36. to 36. So Werkheiser is going to try and stop that fast break if he possibly can. Shenley has outscored Norristown 14 to 4 in the third quarter. Spartans led by only four as the second half began. Now there's a number 52, Jeep Kelly, going in on that fine play in which he got around his man, went in to score. Those are the Norristown cheerleaders leaving the court. On the other side, you see the Shenley cheerleaders. So Shenley has just dominated the early going here in the second half to lead 50 to 36. 14 point lead and of course that's the biggest spread of the ball game. Butler. There is Norristown's third field goal of the third quarter. 50 to 38. Jeep Kelly gets it right back. Now look at Matthews coming down full court to press. That's the first time Shenley has tried that tonight. Or either side has. Crowder on a turnaround. Picked up by Coleman. Williams tried to knock it away from him. Here's Coleman. Ricky Coleman showing some acrobatics. He's in with 19 points and Shenley's up 54 to 38, 16 point lead. Battle under the Norristown basket there. Here's Gaskin with it, driving by himself. Left-hander. Picked up by Coleman. Little trouble finding the handle, but he's got it. Across to Matthews. A foul is called. It's going to go against Big Henry Williams of Norristown. His third. And Norristown, of course, could ill afford to lose number 31. You're looking at him right now. He's standing next to... Tom Thornton, that's Darby Brown, number three, and Jeff Matthews at the line for Shenley, number 12. Shenley breaking it open in the third quarter. They only led by four going in, but they are now ahead 54 to 38. Doc Holliday comes back in, replacing Lamar Crowder. Keep in mind that Holliday has three personal fouls. Shenley section across the way, very much coming alive here as the Spartans are turning it on in the third quarter. Matthews misses his first foul shot. 54-38, Shenley. 16-point edge for the Spartans. Two minutes, 19 seconds remaining, third quarter. 
Rebound.